Hey everyone, it's Alex, and I am here with a video update for the 24th Screen Actors Guild Awards. The Screen Actors Guild Awards have always been an interesting award show in that they've been one of the few award shows in which there has never been a host. Uh, unlike most award shows, which are about three hours long, the Screen Actors Guild Awards are only about two hours long, mainly because they have only about half the number of categories that the Golden Globes and the Oscars and the Emmys all have. And they're all only related to acting, because the Screen Actors Guild, of course, is the biggest actors union in the world. And as a result, it makes sense that all the categories in the show are about acting. There's no categories for directing, cinematography, editing, or any of that, but, of course, they do put all those along with the actors for shows like the Oscars. Um, but anyway, the Screen Actors Guild Awards have interestingly never had a host in the history of its existence, but this year they're going to have a host for the very first time, and that person will be none other than Kristen Bell. So here's what the Screen Actors Guild Awards had to say about this in their press statement. And unlike most of my other videos, this news is fairly recent. It came out on December 4th, which was three days ago. It's December 7th as I'm recording this. But here's what they had to say in their official press statement. Kristen Bell will host the 24th Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards on Sunday, January 21st, 2018 an event which is simulcast live on TNT and TBS at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Pacific Time. Executive producer Kathy Connell announced today. As the SAG Awards have never had an MC before, Connell and the SAG Awards Committee are breaking a long-standing custom by inviting the multifaceted actor to fill this prestigious role. We are delighted to have Kristen Bell as the first ever host of the SAG Awards, Connell said. This has been a year in which assumptions have been challenged, stereotypes have been shattered, and precedents have been broken. We decided to capture the cultural mood by casting aside one of our own traditions, and we're thrilled to have such a talented performer like Bell help us do so. I am honored to be part of the SAG Awards, and I'm a little nervous about being its first ever host, Bell said. I'm so glad that I'll be in the company of my fellow actors, many of whom I've worked with before so I know they'll be warm and supportive. It's going to be an amazing night. Kristen Bell currently stars as the late Eleanor Shellstrop, who may have landed in the wrong afterlife in NBC's The Good Place, opposite Ted Danson. NBC has renewed the critically acclaimed dramatic comedy for a third season starting in 2018. Also in 2018, she will star in the Netflix comedy Like Father, with Kelsey Grammer as her titular dad. Bell is then reprising her role as Anna in the 2019 sequel to Disney's Frozen, the highest grossing animated film of all time. She will next be seen on December 10th in the ABC musical special Encore, which she also executive produced. Her extensive list of credits includes films like A Bad Mom's Christmas and Chips, and television series such as House of Lies, Veronica Mars, and a guest starring arc on Parks and Recreation. And that's the announcement, although I'm surprised when they're mentioning her film credits, they're only mentioning A Bad Mom's Christmas and Chips. I know those are her most recent movies, and obviously they mentioned Frozen since there's going to be the sequel coming out in two years, but you couldn't have put maybe some of her more critically acclaimed film credits on there as well. But as for how she'll do as the host, we'll just have to see because... Since the Screen Actors Guild Awards have never had a host before, this is going to be completely new territory for everybody. And since Kristen Bell has never hosted any other award shows, I have no idea how she's going to do here. Sometimes first-timers who host award shows knock it right out of the park, and other times they bomb horribly. And I don't know if she'll be in one of those two camps or if she'll fall somewhere in the middle, because sometimes there is the middle ground of good but not really great. We'll see what happens with her there. Um, but the actual Screen Actors Guild Award nominations, they come out next Wednesday the 13th. So that'll be very exciting and I'll definitely have my video for that and the Golden Globe Awards and the Critics' Choice Awards since those nominations all come 
out right within a few days of each other. I'll have those out in the coming weeks ahead, and, and of course I'll have more videos about the Oscar categories and the short lists in each of those categories, so make sure you stay tuned for those. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Kristen Bell being chosen as the first ever Screen Actors Guild Award host. Do you think she's a good idea to host? Do you think someone else should host? Let me know if you have an opinion about it. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not yet already done so, so you can get more of my new videos as soon as they're uploaded. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!